Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your buddy Preston. And back with another break. This time, we're taking a look at these little $5 jumbo boxes I got from Walgreens. I have no idea how it's going to go, what we're uh, to expect. It says one and four contain a hit. There is uh, some packs. I went with some old wax packs just because. Well, I picked this box out because Greg Maddox is on the front. And I love me some Greg Maddox. But let's... Uh, Let's see what's going on here. Thanks for stopping by. Death Dragoon 2.0 is back. He's only three away from 500. Let's make sure we get over and support him. Get him over that 500 threshold. It's going to be awesome. Preston underscore sports on Twitter. We'll post there before we go live. Keep you updated on all the good stuff to come. And I'm struggling with this box right away. That's a bad sign. Coming on the bottom. Let me just, let me see. Maybe the bottom's the way to go on these. Hey, yeah, that's that's gonna work better. There we go. Well, all right, hundred cards. I see some eighty sevens already. I see an Eric Davis, beautiful. A guy I PC. There's only a couple non Hall of Fame guys that I PC. Eric Davis is one of them. He's the only player in Major League history to go 50-50 over 162 games. They weren't in the same year, but that's wildly, wildly impressive. There's some 87s. Everybody likes the 87s. Let me get rid of the garbage. Man, I got to do something about this table. All right, let's take a look. We're going to start off with Andy Van Slyke in a Cardinals uniform, 1987. Everyone loves the wood frame designs. Tom Passiorek. Scott Ruskin, 1990, no, uh, 91. Tops. 87, Ricky Horton. Frank DePino. Dennis Leonard, Trout the Beast, what is up? Thanks for stopping by. Eric Davis and Daryl Strawberry, your cousins, right? Are they? I think you might be right. I think I remember hearing it. Mean 519, thanks for that. You guys, go over and sub Death Dragoon 2.0. He's only three away from 500. Dennis Leonard, Mackie Sasser in the 91 Fleer. Everybody hates the 91 Fleer design. Well, thanks for stopping in, Trout. I certainly do appreciate it. You got David Price back when he was with Tampa Bay. What year is that? Uh, 2013 tops. Superstars of baseball. KB Toys. If you're old enough, that's a beautiful card. Oh, and it's Eric Davis. Awesome. That'll be going in the top loader. I love the old one-off cards. I love Eric Davis. That's a... Uh, that's exciting. I like that. Dude was a beast, man. He had some freak injuries. He fought cancer. He just some awful things happened to Eric Davis, but he was incredible. Speaking of incredible, Hall of Famer Frank Thomas. Uh, what year is that? I remember those. The, yeah, 2008. 2008. Frank Thomas. Look at that career. Hell of a ball player. Two more Death Dragoon. We're going to get you there, buddy. We're going to see if we can do it tonight. That's awesome. Billy Hatcher. He's the Reds' uh, third base coach after he retired playing for a long time. Juan Beniquez. Benique, I do not remember him. 1987 for the Orioles. Some awful, awful uniforms. Mean 519 likes Frank Thomas. Everybody likes Frank Thomas, right? Frank Viola, he had a very good career. Bob Walk. He now announces ball games for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Alex Trevino in the 1988 design. Willie McGee, fast Willie McGee. An undervalued player. He was a good player. 
Kenny Rogers again in the 91 Fleer. He was a turd, an absolute turd. Kenny Rogers, if you're watching this, you're a turd. Tom Browning, not a turd, threw a perfect game for the Cincinnati Redlegs in 1987, 88, 1988. Um, he suffered a horrific injury. He was throwing the ball, and his you could hear it on the cameras. His, his arm just snapped the bone in his arm. He was putting so much torque on the baseball. Um, it was horrible and wasn't quite the same pitcher afterwards. But uh, he was a hell of a pitcher for Cincinnati for quite a few years. Gary, read us. What, what year was that? 91 score. Will Clark had an excellent career. Bob Murphy. Somebody's backwards. Andy Hawkins, the 90 Don Russ. I, I don't know. They were all right when they came out, but over the years, they've come to aggravate me. Wally Backman. I wish Upper Deck still made baseball cards. <laughs> I was Kenny Rogers. Just give it a Google. Uh, Google Kenny Rogers turd. And... Uh, You'll probably find some interesting stories. <laughs> Jerry Brown in the 1989. And, oh, there we go. How about a Keith Hernandez? That's a 1981. 1981 in a very good condition. It has a little bit of an ink. Uh, that looks like the red ink there. Smudged during production. There you go, Keith Hernandez. It's back when he liked to have uh, lots of extracurricular activities outside of baseball. Bruce Bochy. Look at them glasses. Juan Augusto. Paul Assenmacher. <laughs> Dennis Rasmussen, he was pretty good. He had a few good years. The old Don Ruth Leaf uh, thing on it there. What is that? 1985. All right. Death Dragoon just hit 500. Awesome. That's amazing, man. Congratulations. That's awesome. 25 Perez. Thanks for stopping by again, buddy. Ray Fossey, not to be confused with Bob Fossey. That's a 1980. Yeah, Ray Fossey, uh, catcher. Um, he was the guy that Pete Rose hit in the All Star game, and uh, he only missed Pete Rose missed some games. I don't think Fossey missed any. Um, it wasn't as horrific an injury a career. He went on to play like nine more years at the same level. Um, but Pete Rose gets a lot of crap for um, for for injuring him. Um, but it really didn't have much of an effect on his career. Gino Petrali, Rich Renteria. These are the 90 score, 90, 89. Uh, 89 score. What do we got? And then the 88, Bud Black, right behind him. Trout and Say, Cubs leaders. 87. Terry Poole, Jim Deshays, Freddie Benavides. For your Cincinnati Reds, these are 93s. Mike Greenwell had a good career. <laughs> the the Astro stuff, Elkanon, yeah, it's it's pretty wild. It really is. They're going to have to come down hard. They're going to have to make a statement about this. They can't let it. They can't let it go. Louis Alicia and Edgar Martinez, there's a Hall of Famer for you. 1995 Fleer, that's a good-looking card, really. That's a good-looking card right there. Oh, it's got the silver. Oh, man, look at that. 
That's his uh, height, weight, and stuff, and silver. And then more of that blue. That's a beautiful card. I don't PC Edgar Martinez. I only keep, uh, you know, the rookies and maybe a couple cards that are just cool. But I think I'll end up keeping that one. That's pretty sweet. Stadium Club Jody Reed. That'll be a 1992 Stadium Club. Those were good-looking cards. Pete Shurek. Efrain, Efren, Efren Valdez. I liked uh, that year of Leaf. What year is that? 1991 Leaf. Johnny Cruck. Everybody loves John Cruck, right? I like that design, the 91 Leaf design with the silver border. Jay Howell. Ed Hearn in 1989. Todd Walker. Wilton Guerrero, I'm in Cincinnati. I do not remember this dude at all, but there's something horrible going on with the printing of these two cards. Look at all that. That's not supposed to be there. It's even on this one. It's along that edge here. So what year is that? 2001. I wouldn't advise, I would not advise buying any 2001 tops. It looks like they do not age well. Kind of peeling off. In fact, I don't want this little crap to get on my other card, so we're going to we're going to pitch those. So our pack in this box is a 1988 score. How about that? That's awful. We'll open that in a minute. We still got one more to go. I like these. I like it's uh, a bit nostalgic for me. I'm 40 years old. So, uh, you know, a lot of these cards would have been right in my heyday of buying cards. I got my first job when I was nine. It was a paper route. And then when I was 11, I got a job making four twenty-five an hour washing dishes. Sorry, let me get a quick drink of water. Uh, let's see. So when I was nine, yeah, 1988. I would have started working, and then, uh, so all that money, man, I was a kid, so it's not like I had bills, so uh, I spent so much on baseball cards during these years. I, I'm surprised I don't remember more years. My memory don't hold up as, uh, hasn't held up as well, but uh, there was a time I could look at any of these and immediately tell you the year and most of the stats on the back, too. 1987, Don Russ, Gary Templeton, he was a good player. And I love the 87 Don Rust design. Uh, let me catch up on the chat here. Oh, nice. El Canon's got a bunch of uh, stuff he picked up at a good price at his local card shop coming up. Make sure you check out that. Yeah, definitely. I love a local card shop stuff, man. I mean, there's a good, uh, picked, had some real good deals. Check out my Hooter build. Uh, videos uh, if you want to see some good uh, uh, local card shop stuff and that dude's amazing if you're ever in uh, southeast Ohio check out Hooterville Sports Shop it's ridiculous Von Hayes he was a good player for a few years Eric Bell oh. Eddie Whitson upside down more upside down Rangers leaders that's right and uh, who knows who knows? Charlie Huff, maybe? Carl Yastrzemski, the 1990 Don Russ. Yeah, that was the puzzle. That was the puzzle that year. You would get uh, on the you would get uh, cards with just a puzzle piece. Bobby Valentine went on to have a decent career as a manager. Alan Turmel, he's a very good player. Vinny Castilla. I say that's a good looking card. It's a leaf card from '94. Camera doesn't like it, but I do. It's a good looking card. More '94. It's Kevin Tapani. I remember him. Don't remember how to. 
pronounce his name. Hal McRae. Willie Upshaw. Frank Viola one more time. That's an 89 Fleer. No, 87. That's an 87 Fleer. I like that with the faded blue to white border. Oh, wow, that's incredible, Elkanon. Elkanon, E-L space K-A-N-O-N. Go check out his channel. He's 10 5,000 count boxes and four or five binder, binders full of Hall of Fame rookies at his local card shop. Definitely checking that out. Mark Bailey, a ton of 87. Ron Kittle, Rich Gedman. Here's a checklist. People like the checklist for some reason. The 1987 tops. Daryl Boston. He's a pretty good player for a few years. 1991 Fleer Ultra. That was a good design. He was a product of Princeton High School in Cincinnati. I spent some time there myself. I moved around. I went to a lot there. I went to like 10 different schools. That was one of them. They, they produce, uh, they have some pretty good athletic programs there. Brooke Jacoby, Greg G Gagney. I remember him. I don't remember how to pronounce his name. That's 1986 tops. I don't, I'm a bit torn. How, what do you guys think about the 86 tops? Because the black part, you know, black's just rough on cards as they age. It's a very basic design, not necessarily a bad design. They, they, they had a big problem of being miscut. I got a handful of these where the top is cut off, and it's you can see the other guy from the bottom, like where the, the machine that cuts them was off probably an inch, or an inch and a half or something. Awful. There's a lot of that kind of stuff. Even, I mean, look how, look how off-centered that guy is. That's not even that bad, really, for that year. Seems so much worse. Bill Schroeder in the 88. You got Dennis Rasmussen one more time. Mike Witt. Bip Roberts. He's an excellent player. That's the 1990 tops. Terry Francona. Managing the Indians now. Remember the success he had in Boston. Tim Burke. And Tim Burke. The Tim Burke twins. Oh, my God. It's more Tim Burke. The, the Tim Burke triplets. There you go. Because I did not have enough Tim Burke car. I was just telling my wife yesterday, you know what I need? More freaking Tim Burke cards. Wes Gardner. Chris Hoyles. Alejandro Pena. He was a good pitcher for a handful of years. I think he played for somebody else. Maybe the Dodgers. Steve Howe. 92 Fleer Ultra. And Chuck Krim. The Chuck Krim rookie, the long sought after Chuck Krim rookie, 1987 Don Russ. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one, get the rest of my PC because what's the point? Once you got the Chuck Krim rookie, you have won, my friend. <laughs> Mark Nudson, oh, what an awful name! Knudsen, we'll guess the case silent. Mark Nudson. With his goofy mustache. <laughs> Mark Newfield. Rookie prospect for your Seattle Mariners back in 1996. Lee Guterman. Mark Portugal. Oh, that's a good looking card. What's that? It's another Leaf. 95 Leaf. Good looking card. 
Gary Eve, 90 Don Russ, Matt Williams, Rick Mailer, he was awful. Hyun Jin Ryu, so we got 2015. It's all backwards. I remember this set. What was that? 2013, Sergio Santos, Russell Martin, Neil Walker. Wasn't a bad player for a handful of years. Leonis Martin, Ubaldo Jimenez. Matt Shoemaker, Michael Brantley, Eduardo Nunez, and Phil Hughes. He, he opens cards on YouTube. Uh, shout out to Phil Hughes. Phil's Pools. Go check it out. He always he open, he likes to open a lot of 2004 and look for his own rookie, <laughs> which is hilarious. Uh, photo quality. I don't know why I read that. That's pointless. Player cards and trivia cards. 17 player cards and one Magic Motion trivia card. Ooh. Let's see. One of my least favorite years, really. Rob Deere is going to start us off. Roger Clemens. Nice. What do you think? Is he going to get in the Hall of Fame? Oh, as soon as I badmouth the pack, I pulled the Wade Boggs, one of my all-time favorite players. Actually, I got these confused with the 80. I was expecting the 89. These are the 88 scores. I like these. These are not bad design at all. Wade Boggs, one of the greatest players in the history of baseball. Undervalued. One year he had like a 11 war and didn't win the uh, – he finished like eighth or something in the – MVP race, absolutely absurd. Didn't get as much re as respect as he deserved during his playing days. Greg Harris, Steve Crawford. Oh, I love little holograph things. Do you remember Yankee Stadium, October 10th, 1926? I am old. I'm not quite that old. Great moments in baseball. Old Pete saves the cards. I will not read all that, but if you give it a pause, you can check it out. Love the old hologram cards. Floyd Bannister, Mike Kingery, Kurt Ford, Steve Jeltz. That's a pretty awful name. Jeltz. Phonetically awful. Jack Morris. Outstanding pitcher for your Detroit Tigers, Juan Nieves. You got Pete Stanichek. I think our one of our first cards of that box was a Stanichek. Chris Bando, Terry Poole, Gary Templeton, Andreas Thomas, and Chris James. So we got a Wade Boggs out of that. That's awesome. Obviously in perfect condition. One of the binders was just Wade Boggs and Don Mattingly. That's amazing. Wade Boggs, so awesome. Wade Boggs, Tony Gwynn. Just, you don't see guys that can do that anymore. Guys that can just pick their spots and hit the ball exactly where they want and hit for you know an average of 380 or something. Never strike out. Capable of laying down a bunt when a bunt's needed. All right. Let's take a look. So our pack is going to be a 1990 Fleer logo sticker. 90 Fleer. And then the reason I picked that box in particular is for the Greg Maddox card because you can't have enough of those.
in my opinion, the greatest pitcher of all time. The way he could paint the corners. You watch, by the end of a game, he would have the ump calling balls that were eight inches off the plate. <laughs> and he earned it, man. He earned it, though. Jeff Reardon, a 92 highlight season, so that's a 93 score. He passed uh, his 342nd save, moves, moves him past Raleigh Fingers. Jeff Reardon. Let's see. We're all turned around here. David Ortiz. You got Moises Alou, triple play. Those are good looking cards. That's a 93 Leaf product. The 89 Don Russ, Tracy Jones, Ed Whitson, Dave Stewart. Love the 1990 Bowman design. Was it 90? Yeah. Very simple. But I like it. Andy Pettit. Bowman's best. It's a good looking card. 1997. Third year card. Andy Pettit. Brian Bohannon, Alex Cole, that was a 93 Don Russ. And then the 92 Upper Deck, I'm slinging cards around here. Who is that? It's a good looking card. It's a studio. Dean Palmer, 93 Leaf Studio. I totally missed that set. I don't know if I've ever seen one of those. You got Brooke Jacoby, Mark Davis, Rich Yet. Are you Rich Yet? Paul Sorrento, Tony Longmire. Rookie for your Phillies. Rookie catcher. Back in 93, 94. That's a 94 Fleer Ultra. Mike Belecki. By Lecky. I remember him. Mike Devereaux. The 92 Fleer. Some 91 score. Brett Butler. David Cohn. Had a very good career. Bobby Brown. Not that Bobby Brown. Oh, look at that mustard yellow San Diego uniform. That's a 1985 Fleer. Don't know that I have a lot of 1985 Fleer. Moises Alou. One more time. Javi Lopez. Ryan Klesko, and Hall of Famer Harold Baines. There you go. John Valentine. I got a handful of these. He's, uh, what year? Is the 97 Upper Decks. I like those a lot. They were good looking cards. Brent Huff, what is up, buddy? Thanks for stopping by. Another Will Clark, had a very good career. Anthony Brum or Mike Anthony Brumley, so Anthony on the back. Al Osuna and Kevin Seitzer. We got Frank White. Joe Carter, a very good career. Yep, game-winning homer, hit the game-winning home run in the 1993 World Series. Joey Carter. Tony Saunders. Aaron Seal, I remember him. Was he a closer? He might have been a closer. He was a bullpen guy, I think. 
Aaron Seeley. Oh, no, he's a starter. Hell, had a good year in 93, 274 ERA. Eric Young. You got George Bell's MVP card. That's a good card. I like the, uh, the design of the MVP. I don't know. The weird color scheme seemed to go together oddly somehow. Will Cordero. And what is that? Randall, Randall Simon. Pacific Invincible. 1998. That's a good looking card. Pacific Invincible, 98. We got Barry Larkin, beautiful. Hall of Famer, one of my favorite players, 1997 Pinnacle. Love me some Barry Larkin. I worked at a restaurant. He would stop by every now and again, and I'd get to make him dinner. Barry Larkin. Love me some Barry Larkin. Excellent. Getting out of this with a Barry Larkin and a Wade Boggs. I'm happy. There's an Eric Davis, a sweet Eric Davis card. Willie Green. Dave Lopes. Tino Martinez. A couple decent careers there. Bud Black. The I remember that card. I had a few of those. The Gold Cup, Robbie Thompson, second year card. Domingo Ramos, Dwayne Ward. You got Bill Long, Ivan Calderon. I think he played for the Expos as well. Ron Hassey, Carlos Santana, not the musician. That's 2018. Yeah, that's the newest card we've seen out of these. Carlos Santana, and Dave Gallagher. Travis Hatner in the 2008 Pops. Giovanni Soto. Yeah, I mean, I like that. I like that design of that picture. What was that? 97 Pinnacle on the Barry Larkin? It was a good-looking card. John Main. I definitely don't have that card of mine. He's one of my PC guys. Rich Hill. Tadahito Iguchi. So, uh, super thick card. Doesn't feel like the other ones. Peter Barrojos. He was a pretty good player for a little while. And so was Scott Rowland. Scott Rowland, borderline Hall of Famer, had an excellent career, outstanding career. Go go double check his stats. Pretty impressive player. We end up with like five or six gold gloves too, I think. Matt Moore. That's a Matt Moore rookie. J.D. Martinez. Jason Mott. He was supposed to be really good. It never really panned out, I don't think. Jose Lynn. Eric Show in the 87 design. Ron Gant, 1990 tops. Mike Heath upside down. There's a Doc Gooden for you. Everybody loved Doc Gooden. 1989. Like to have a little too much fun. Steve Searcy. There's a Dave Parker. The Cobra. I used to hang out with uh, um, his nephew a little bit and heard some decent stories. Not all of them uh, would I be able to share on YouTube here. <laughs> Dave Hollins. Is that the traded? It looks a little different, doesn't it? It doesn't look like... It's a little weird. It's got the super bright... Yeah, there you go. 41T. Tops trade it. So, yeah, there you go. 1990. You got Jerry Brown. I kind of like that design. It's a 94. 
and Raphael Novo Novoa. Don't remember him at all. Marquise Grissom, the Studio 91. That's a good-looking card. Black and white. You got Alan Benes. That's a gallery. From 98. The permanent collection. That's a good looking card. Kevin Brown, an EX. He was a good pitcher. Fleer Skybox. 2000. It's a good looking card as well. Ricky Otero, the Metal Universe. I love those cards. I didn't end up with very many of them, just a handful, but they're good-looking cards. The 97. And who is that? Robinson Chaco. Rookie card is a debut in 97, so that's a 98, I guess. Mike Kelly, that is a really... So that's textured. That feels really weird. That is a sweet card. Aficionado by Pinnacle. Mike Kelly. That is a really neat card. Nineteen ninety six Pinnacle. Hmm. Huh. That's really weird. Nice. Let me set that aside actually. All right, we still got our 1990 Fleer pack we'll get to here in a minute. Upside down, Dennis Bocher. Fernando Valenzuela, there you go. Fernando Fever. David Meads, 89. Brian McRae, one more time. Jim Sunderberg. Upside down, Robbie, oh, Bob Irolt, nope, Greg Myers, you got Roberto Kelly, he was good for a handful of years, Kevin Brown one more time, the 93 Don Russ, Jeff Reardon, Jay Powell, 93 score, that would be a 94 score. I like those. Like a very dark blue. Almost like a purple border. Larry Lubers. Jeff Montgomery. Dave Palmer in the 89. Cal Daniels. He was here when we won the World Series. I'm pretty sure he was still here in 1990. He would have left shortly after if he was. Scott Sanders. Jeff Reardon, Mike Felder, you got Shane Raleigh, Scott Sanderson, back around, Louis Pol Polonia, Louise Polonia, I remember that name, Paul Sorrento one more time, and the Darren Dreyfort rookie card. Got to have one of those. Don Baylor and John Denny. All right. So we looked at about 200 cards. And uh, these are the stack that we're keeping. So uh, not a ton of great stuff. It said one in four boxes have a hit. We did not get uh, lucky there. But let's see what our 1990 Fleer pack has in it. The 
The Braves will be our sticker. Got some trivia on the back for you. All right. 90 Fleer. Jody Reed. Greg Walker. Scott Scudder was supposed to be great, and he never was. The Meso Garcia. Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, nice. Is that... Is that considered his Fleer rookie? I think it might be. Holy hell. I wasn't expecting that. It's in pristine condition. It's a little off-center to the right. Um, <laughs> how about that? A Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, Fleer rookie card. Not bad, huh? Second year card? What was the 89 Fleer look like? I can't remember. Oh, yeah, with the gray with the white stripes. Uh, shout out to my buddy Luke. He just called me and let me know that second year card. I was failing to remember the gray and white border one, of course. Brett Butler, but still, that's a sweet card. You got Steve Cersei, Oral Hershiser, Dave Schmidt, Kevin Bass, Terry Steinbach, Pete Smith, Greg Cattery, Don Carmen, and Ruben Sierra. Ruben Sierra, not a bad baseball player. There you go. A quick look at uh, the baseball ones. We hit for a Ken Griffey Jr. There's a sweet Wade Boggs in there. Uh, one of my favorite players, Greg Maddox. Uh, so not bad. We got two of these. Do you guys want to do some of those? Do you want to uh, – uh, I know it's getting a little late on the East Coast now. We got three holiday boxes laying around and a ton of tops update. You guys want to come back, do something else here in about 10 minutes? Let me clean up my mess. What do you think? For everybody watching later, I certainly do appreciate the support. Preston underscore sports on Twitter. We'll post over there before we go live. Keep you updated on all the stuff to come. Still trying to get stuff sorted for uh, uh, putting an auction together. I was uh, got awful sick for about a week, and then I ran into some other problems. So uh, I'm a little behind on where I want it to be. I'm frame wise but uh, we're getting back up and running now uh, i tell you what stick around uh if you guys want i kind of like that that was a little nostalgic to look at some of the old cards you guys want to do some football come on back in about 10 minutes we'll do a couple of the little football guys it'll be fun as always you guys are awesome i appreciate the support i am preston be good have fun and i will see you shortly <laughs>